South Bay mother says Senator John McCain helped her through the loss of her 31 year old son, a man who was killed in 9-11. Alice Hoagland's friend wrote the senator back in 2001, not knowing it would lead to one of the most, most meaningful moments of her life. Alice Hoagland was living some of the darkest days of her life when Senator John McCain and his wife Cindy made a special trip to Cal Berkeley. He spoke at Mark Bingham's memorial dedication. Bingham was Alice's son and was among the passengers on board United Airlines Flight 93 on September 11, 2001. Bingham and others are believed to have thwarted the hijacker's plans to crash the plane into a building in Washington, D.C. What he said really is really touched my heart. He said, I didn't know Mark Bingham, but I... I may very well owe my life to Mark and the others who summon the enormous courage and love necessary to deny those depraved, hateful men their terrible triumph. Such a debt you incur for life. Alice says McCain brought a sense of calm when there were so many questions about her son's death. But in life, she says her son absolutely respected the Republican politician. During a campaign stop in 2000, Bingham went out of his way to meet McCain. Their interaction captured in this picture. Senator McCain was trying to look tall, <laughs> and it was hard to do next to a guy who was 6'4", and they were both grinning. A memory of happier and healthier times. Alice says McCain's words and actions all those years ago brought the admiration her son had for the senator full circle. He was at the Capitol building on that awful afternoon, so I think that's why he, he told us all that he had a, a personal debt to Mark and the others because he may very well have saved my life, he said. Alice tells me she only wishes she said more. Alice never got around to writing Senator McCain about his impact on her life. Now she has plans to write Cindy.